I'm Louise Rowe and welcome to The Sheer Luck Show. We have a really fun show for you today, from a catch-up with hairstyling legend Jonathan Van Ness to a cocktail-making demo from the team just in time for the start of party season. But first, let me introduce our wonderful naughty guests. I'm joined today by celebrity and fashion stylist Nana Achenpong, founder and designer of fashion brand Wiggy Kit, Wiggy Hindmarch, and personal stylist and content creator Joe Holly. I am friends with all these ladies, <laughs> so we're going to have a good time. <laughs> How's everyone? Good, how are you? Yeah, everyone? very well. Very excited mm. about this. Very excited about For this. For a start. It started. I'm waiting to get the smell though. Yes. I can't yeah. smell anything yet. I'll waft it over to yeah. you. Um, you all look fabulous. We've got, I mean, Thank Nana, you. showing up. I know. This is the Raban H&M collection, which oh. I went to town on and I have multiple pieces people have it. been talking about it yeah. and it's knitted it's knitted which I didn't realize and yeah I love all of these it's just really nice detail all over it you've been you're ready to rock and roll yeah you're so you had a quiet birthday that turned into <laughs> a it was 3 a.m yeah. birthday yeah I started off at a spa with my mum it was meant to be a very chilled out birthday on Friday and then I ended up at the Big Brother rap party, strolling in about 3 a.m. And I had my suitcase and everything. <laughs> with me. But a time was had. All that detox. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Um, are you guys in any way ready for Christmas? Decorated? You know what? In our household, we did such a big countdown to Halloween. It was like a 75-day oh, really? countdown with oh, the children. <laughs> and then as soon as Halloween finished, it was literally like, how many days till Christmas? So I already feel like Christmas should be tomorrow. Yeah. But I haven't put any decorations up yet. Okay. So I think maybe another week. This weekend, maybe? Maybe this weekend. Yeah. 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 I would just allow myself to only get into it on the first weekend of December. Until that time, I'm just... Yeah. I'm just Usually I've already got everything sorted. I've usually already wrapped everything. Everything's in its place. But unfortunately this year hasn't sort of worked out that way. So yeah. it's going to be some frantic packing. And <laughs> it, is a, it is a huge job in itself. And I have to say it always falls on the woman. Funny enough. Yes, it does. Reading Anya Heimarsh's. Mm -hmm. She's your sister-in-law, right? She is, that's right. Her oh. book at the moment, which I know every, so about 20 <laughs> friends told me to read and it is brilliant. But it is actually it, She very does good. talk about all this stuff that gets loaded yeah. on the woman still. Yeah, it's true. And buying presents and wrapping presents and labels and cards and decorating yeah. and I'm not even hosting Christmas but yeah. it's yeah. everything. It's, it's like a, a big job. thing. Yeah. 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 It is a full-time job. Full job. <laughs> it is and it's also incredibly expensive as well yeah. and it's it's just making sure that you sort of get, get all those people thanked really. It's a time to thank people I always think. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah and just just I, the pressure I put on myself to find exactly the right thing for that right person, I take it, very, and the whole wrapping thing becomes a, a huge oh, thing. Good. In the oh, yeah. No, I started being like, oh, God, we've got lots of godchildren, and I'm just like, they're all just getting personalised jumpers. Yeah. Literally, well, that's I'm just nice. like, that's really I think it's quite it. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really Zara nice. do personalisation. No. That's quite a subtle, yeah, it's a little button at the end, like literally while yeah. you're just about to pay, and you can personalise, and they do like little sweatshirts. So what, their name? Yeah. Oh, that is the so best idea. idea. Yeah, really so they're all getting it so it's just like done but that yeah. is brilliant because it's very hard nowadays <clears throat> everyone's got everything yeah we're all yeah. so you know i know i only do presents now for my nieces and nephews and my mum and dad like i'm one of five so my brothers and sisters unfortunately don't get anything nothing <laughs> they get, no they'll get a card if they're lucky <laughs> but i just think christmas is for the kids and like yeah the it really is true ones, yeah. So it like, is true yeah, all of my time goes on them. Yes. Or micro-gifting, which yeah. I'm quite into. Just What's something, it's just a token small thing. Yeah. And it might even be, I don't know, your favourite jam. Like a small... Yes. Yeah, that's Oh, I have, that's actually, lovely. I had the best... I, d I did this a few years ago, and I actually think this is one of the best presents. And people were really overjoyed by it, which was a personalised Marmite. Oh, oh I yes. love that. Yes. That's so cute. Yeah. That's so good I did, I, yeah, I gave that to all the different families, and it had all their different, sort of, yeah, you know, I the whatever the family. Well. Uh, yes, Nutella yeah. do it. Yeah. And then Love Hearts. So this is actually a really fun thing for children's birthdays is you can do the Love Hearts, which is a really fun thing. If you have a children's, obviously tends to be more like girls would prefer this than boys, but you have this whole, um, you know, you can put it as an, a place setting Therefore, oh, yeah. you know, you've got their name on it. Oh, Each personalised love hearts, oh, which is really cute. sweet. This is so handy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. in the show notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. When it comes to trees. <clears throat> This is real. Are you oh, real it? or fake? This is actually my first year. I've just bought a new flat. So it's the first year that I'm putting up my own Christmas tree Aww. in my own flat, which I'm it's very exciting. excited about. I've currently got a fake one up just because I actually had a Christmas shoot a few weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my Christmas tree has been up since I think like October, November. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to take that one down and get a real mm -hmm. one. 
There are companies, I think, that will take them away because you see them on the street at the end, oh, and no. that's yeah. But so I think there are sad, it's sad. Really sad. But it's really really I think actually the worst thing I I, I get, almost get offended when I see people keeping up their trees too long. Yeah, yeah. I yes. bad, you, luck. You walk, I, bad luck. It's like bad luck. Yeah. You walk down the it. street and you look into people's uh, drawing rooms. Like, Why on earth do they still have that thing up? It's But then in some in France and I think Italy. They mm. keep them up keep them all up. through January. Oh I think. my goodness. We don't have there that is, choice because we, no, we, we go real. They go bald. Yeah. But we've yeah. got yeah. underfloor heating. Yeah. Oh. And by the 18th of December, it's literally just the same <laughs> like brown Christmas tree that I just Sad. like throw more decorations at just to <laughs> kind of, you know, disguise yeah. the dead tree in our house. I do like the smell, <laughs> although sometimes actually, I, I don't know what it is about trees in England. If you go to trees anywhere else in the world, they have that lovely smell. Mm. They've taken the smell out of our trees. I know. Really? Why that smell? What's happened to this country? <laughs> you've got to do that, and then you can. You've got to be I'm getting really away. Yeah, give a little scratch. Yeah, a little fur. Yeah, scratch and snow. Mark, <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Later in the show, we're going to see how very clever florist Lucy Vale put together our beautiful tree. But first, few out there are more qualified to offer expert advice than Queer Eye star Jonathan Van Ness. Here he answers our 20 questions. Hi, I'm Jonathan Van Ness. I'm the founder of JVN Hair. I'm here with Sheer Lux, and we are going to do 20 quick fire questions. Um, the one hair rule I wish everyone would follow would be to use heat protectant before heat styling. I would probably do anything for the right price. I had this dream where I want to cut my hair off, and then I do, and then the whole dream, I'm just like, I'm just like, ah, like there's no hair. That dream is my biggest regret. Get a haircut. It's so important that you have a consultation with your colorist. Hair color is expensive, it's an investment, and good hair color can last for months. Bad hair color can last for months. So you wanna make sure that you're having a consultation, that you both have looked at a picture, that you've talked about maintenance, that you've talked about price, especially that you've talked about blend. Um, a lot of times like bad highlights start with the blend at the scalp, either because you have a very, like a lot of contrast and there's no blend and you wanted it to be more blended or you really wanted contrast, but it's like too blended. So making sure that you understand the, the vernacular and understanding like the verbiage that you're using with your colorist is so important to getting good hair color. Oh my God. Well, obviously Princess Diana, such a beauty icon. Instant recovery serum. Mm -hmm. If you're a curly girl, air dry cream. If you're a blowout person, blowout milk. When you're blowing your hair smooth, like every single thing you do to your hairstyle is going to lead to something. So if you're really wanting your hair sleek and smooth, when you're blow drying, don't flip your hair upside down. Like don't blow against the hair. Make sure everything is blowing down the hair shaft, that you're really like fighting volume and frizz by like really like sealing the hair down like when you're blowing it dry. So either use a comb or a round brush to really like slick the hair down, slick it down as you're drying. Also, I love like a blow dry lotion like a blowout milk or something in hair wet to help prep the hair to help seal out frizz to help to seal in the style and protect it from heat but when you really want that like extra extra sleek 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 look you usually need like a pomade one i really like is tancho stick it's been around for fifteen thousand years um i like that pomade just take a little like of the pomade with your nail and then just for any little flyaways do you still have like that one or two errant hairs? So you can take a firm hold hairspray and spray it on a makeup brush and then use that to like get those hairs to lay down. That's another good trick to like really perfect. For me, I really like herbivore coconut milk bath soak. It's just like so relaxed. So just a great bath. The first thing I do when I wake up is I look at my husband and I go like, God, I'm so lucky. And then the last thing I do before I go to bed is I floss and then I go to sleep. One thing I like to do with mascara is take a little bit of toilet paper or a paper towel and just pat it on the outside of the mascara one to get off all that excess product. And then you'll have like a way smoother mascara application. In 2018, I went to the GLAAD Awards and it was my birthday and I lost my mind because Michelle Kwan was my date. She's the most decorated American figure skater of all time. She's also currently the ambassador to Belize. And I got so excited styling her hair for the red carpet that I had actually forgot to do my hair and makeup. Like just, I, I actually just forgot. And then I sat in this like silk dress for so long in the back of my car waiting for the red carpet that it was 
so wrinkled and then I was just like red. It was the only worst dress list I've ever made. It was not my best look. My biggest inspiration is Michelle Kwan. Also, Ali Raisman is a really huge inspiration. They're both just like powerful, amazing athletes who have been able to like be open and transparent about their disappointments or their hurts and they've been stronger through those. And I just find that so strong and beautiful. Air dry cream, a diffuser, blowout milk, and a blow dryer and a bathtub. Three things, Jesus Christ, these questions. My husband, my animals, coffee. Beauty is such an inside job as it is an outside job. Some of the most beautiful people I've ever seen were people who didn't do that much to themselves aesthetically. They were just like very aligned with their purpose and very in tune with who they are. And also like that shines through a lot of like shitty highlights and weird makeup applications when you're just really comfortable in who you are. I think that's really beautiful. I love breathing exercises. Obviously, my favorite place to, uh, to shop beauty in London is Space NK. I love it. Uh, whenever I'm in town, I like to go to all the Space NKs and go check on my babies and see how they're doing. Um, I like to make sure that none of the kids in the store are bullying them. You know, we live right next door to like Way and K18 and there's enough room at the table for everyone to succeed. I mean, I have to, I'm happy to report, everyone gets along so well. Uh, one way is by using Undamaged by JDN Hair. Um, I think Undamaged is incredible. Also our pre-washed scalp oil is incredible for hair that's been really chemically compromised. It's very balancing and soothing and strengthening. Instant Recovery Serum is beautiful to bring hair back from the brink. And then non-product recommendations to kind of bring hair more back into health is lessen up on your washing, try to lessen up on the heat stylings. If your hair is already dry, but it's like a day or two old blow dry, maybe just throw that hair up in like a little braid or a little updo as opposed to like reheat styling it. So just trying to like put the heat down, uh, do a little bit more deep conditioning treatments, taking a little bit off the fastball with bleach. If you're someone who gets highlights, going darker on the hair isn't as compromising, it's lightening the hair is what really makes it feel a lot worse. So. Try to say no to bleach and a little bit less heat styling if your hair is really on the brink. Oh, and silk pillowcases is really important. And not sleeping with your hair down. Doing it like very on top of your head with a silk scrunchie because you know your ends, this is like six year old hair, or like five year old hair. This has been washed so many times. This has been heat styled so many times. Your old ass ends are getting trapped between your body heat and the sheets and it's just like slowly rubbing. And sometimes folks will be like, oh, well I just sleep with my hair like this over the pillow. Do you freeze when you sleep? Do you not move? Like every time you toss and turn and that hair gets back under your body heat, you're just slowly rubbing and frictioning. Also, you don't want to do a slick, slick, tight ponytail when you sleep because that's going to create tension and it can create traction alopecia. So I just like to do a silk scrunchie and just loosely gather the hair on top of the head and you can do a really loose twist. If you feel any pulling or tugging on your hairline, just loosen that part up so it's comfortable and then just go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching Sheer Lux. You are sheer and you are luxurious, honey. I love everything about you. If you've just been titillated by this video, we're gonna put the links for all the JVN hair down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, Sheer Lux. Bye, everyone. Naughtiness. Isn't oh, no. um, can you imagine Jonathan Van Ness at your Christmas party? Oh my gosh, oh, that would be so much fun. fun. The best. <laughs> yeah. I actually binge watch all of all of Queer Eye for uh, I did did about sort of two months. It took me about two months to do it, well but done. I got yeah. through yeah, it. Yeah. I would even have it in my bathroom as I was getting ready. So I'm a big one for always sticking my iPad sort of Somewhere. close, yeah, so yeah. balancing yeah. it on the edge of a sink or whatever. Yeah. And it's always like either comedy or Queer Eye, and I thought that was. But also it's the tears I. I cried so much. Oh, I, I mean, I find them so moving. All those um, those different mm. uh, shows that they've done, yeah. and you sort of, uh, I, it's wonderful to see how just these small little changes that people can't actually yeah. do for themselves. Makes such a big difference. Huge difference. I, I really do. Yeah. That show was really impactful, and it was yeah. a great group. I love oh, how obsessed you were with it. That's I, I, that is. I, I then forced my whole family to get into it as well. <laughs> So you've watched it twice. Yeah, I, yeah I've watched that. it. I keep re-watching because I find it really, and if I go on the plane, I find it a really nice, heartwarming, kind of very mm -hmm. positive thing to yeah. do because I don't like flying. Yeah. And I think, well, what I'm going to do to uh, cheer myself up. Oh, wow. It's like your friend, you. your version of friends. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. so exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, <clears throat> well, he did my hair years ago when I first moved to LA, and this is way before Queer Eye. And um, he had a YouTube show, which you can still watch 
called Gay of Thrones. <laughs> and it was when Game of Thrones was at its absolute peak. Oh, and he yeah. would basically do someone's hair and then break down the episode the in, his, in his very own way. He'd be like, girl, no. Uh, and it came with a sword and just did that with the sword. And it was so Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> that I was like, you're, brilliant. I mean, I can't even remember what my hair looked like, but yeah. I just cried. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. a great, great hair appointment. Exactly. <laughs> right. You've started us off on the Christmas party, what we're wearing. Yes. What are you guys, I'm going to start with Joe. what okay. are you wearing this Christmas party season? I have fallen in love with the jumpsuit from Saloni. Have you seen oh, it? Yeah. It's oh. a new one, I think, and it's kind of really rich, kind of burnt orangey, kind of dark mm. blues, and then it's got these little tassels at the bottom of the, nice. of the, yeah, of the trouser. Oh. It's so gorgeous, but I just haven't pressed the button yet. It's are, just there. Are you going to? Yeah. I think I am, because I think I'm just going to have to wear it for the next 20 Christmases, yeah. you know, just to kind of, you know, warrant it. Yeah, justify. Yeah, exactly. Right. You better buy it before this. I know, yes. I'm literally like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before it sounds yeah. actually, that's exactly... I'm having to leave here now and do it. Yeah. 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 Well, it might be a bit of a dead giveaway. Uh, I've just started doing party wear, so I will definitely be wearing one of my pieces. Yeah. Actually, that was a, uh, that was. I want this. Yeah. Do you like this? Right. So I've, Absolutely I, gorgeous. I'm obsessed with statement skirts, because yeah. for me... Um, you can, I feel just much more comfortable often actually with separates than yeah. a whole dress. Sometimes a dress can feel a bit like you're trying too hard. And when you put yes. the separates on, it slightly knocks it down yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so uh, this sort of came about because I was actually before, I, I, I wasn't doing uh, party wear pieces, but I came across all these insane um, fabrics and I was like oh my god it's skirts got I've got to just do skirts skirts and tops because I think that's really missing yeah. from from uh, party wear so um so I came up with all these different skirts and I, I just love also to have a sleeve. So this actually is like a long sleeve. You could do an oversized black turtleneck or even just obviously a skinny little black yeah, turtleneck and it becomes something completely different. And a boot. Different. Right, yeah, you could do a boot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I almost wore this too. I went to a concert the other day and I was going to wear this just literally with a black t-shirt. Yeah. You know, you can, you can really make it very high-low. Which I like about skirts. That's I'm going to get one of those. Yes, and it's a very elegant length with a heel. Yes. I love that. It is. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely I'm... buying this. Yeah. Actually, Nana, leave. your boots would look lovely. Yes. yes. They, they are fabulous, right. aren't they? Nice. I like how high they are because they come yes. up. Yes. Yes. And when you stand right. up, yes, I don't like a gap. The knee. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 Gosh, we have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Oh, <laughs> what are you? Um, what am I after? Oh, so many things. The two things that I picked. Um, this insane, uh, you know me, Louise, I love a bit of colour. So a really gorgeous bandeau red jumpsuit Ooh, from gorgeous. Three People mm. that's got like a massive bow on it. And it, I literally look like a Christmas present, basically. <laughs> <laughs> nice and wrapped up. Um, and then a metallic silver uh, Georgina Harding dress, which again, just kind of screams party season for me and I love the pleats and I, I think you it. should almost dress like a quality street yes yeah. exactly that's you know, the vibe the I'm going for <laughs> choose, yeah, choose which one yeah. because, you know, some of them apparently Ooh, like you're not getting so one. many this year oh really yeah, yeah everyone's up in arms about it have you not heard which no it's been all over the place yes What's this? There's like less shortage of the favourite ones. Oh, that's yeah, right. No, yeah. but someone mentioned the orange cream and who who wants the orange cream? Yeah, there's <laughs> no, no, there. Weirdly, my no daughter. One. And I'm always oh, like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, them. yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. You okay, darling. Love you. <laughs> um, I think there are more parties and more pizzazz and more hmm. glitter and glam this totally. year. Yeah. Am I right? Definitely. There's yeah, just 100%. people want to dress up. I love it. Yeah. I think it's people are really, really surprised considering what the rest of my collections usually are, which are really quite understated, that I went all out. I feel like when you do go all out, you really should go all out. Yeah. But then knock it back. So this is what I think is kind of interesting. When you take something like an amazing fabric, but then you put it into maybe a casual piece or vice versa, so you, you, you have that sort of... Um, that like cross high low thing, thing yeah. always. Versatility. I really like that when yeah, you I can agree. kind yeah, of you. just... Yes. Just surprise people with the, the application of how you use a fabric. Actually, yeah. that does bring me nicely onto my <clears throat> pick, which is a bomber jacket. Ooh. Oh, okay. And it's velvet and oh, it's nice. got beautiful crystals See? on it. So oh, yeah, exactly. very exactly. relaxed, oversized. Yeah. It's the same sort of, yeah. Um, yeah. it's from River Island, Where's that actually. Yeah. River? yeah, this is also River. How did you know? Oh, nice. 
Yeah. She was sneaking. I know. I know. Awesome. Awesome. I, know I, I think it sold out well. really quickly, but I don't know if it's back in stock. But it's got you know, it's like it's exactly yeah. what you just said, Wiggins. Yeah. So you've got sort of sparkles and velvet on something mm. that's actually Unexpected. a very yeah. casual piece. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it just yeah. elevates it. Yeah, yeah. and then you're not trying too hard, which I love. Um, <laughs> Next up, onto more party content. Take a look at some fun cocktail making at the SL office with the team. Mm, fun. We've been tasked with quite an important mm. job in the office, which Very is important. decorating for Christmas, and we've got to go wrestle with the tree. It is not in there. <laughs> and no, it's not in here either. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, surprise. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's a heavy one. Yeah? Do you want me to hang on? Right, hang on. Oh, it's a prickly... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Right, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So, do you often put the tree up in your house? Oh, my gosh. Every year. I mean, I have to orchestrate the whole thing, put the tree up, put the decoration up the loft, decorate it, make it look chef's kiss. So, I'm actually very good at decorating a tree. So... Flip and neck, it's heavy. Oh, so we need to get... <laughs> Well, it's, oh, it's got lights on already. Oh, that's, that's actually good. very handy. Oh, that's the worst bit. <laughs> it's so there we go. <laughs> I know. Ready? Ready? Yay! Hey! Oh my god, it's so impressive! It, it works. works. <gasps> Ooh. I feel... Where do we put this? Oh. Let's put it on the table. <laughs> <gasps> what are your favourite things about Christmas? The food. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be up there, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, honestly, just eating as much as possible. I love that, like, betwixtmas. Yeah, that's where... decent. Lots of walking off said food. Exactly. You're not sure what date or time it is, but it's always time for some kind of cheese board. Some celebrations. And a biscuit selection. I like Christmas shopping as well, actually, controversially. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I find it really hard. Well, I really enjoy it. I start thinking about it, like, a bit early. Like, I've already got quite a lot of mine sorted. Mm -hmm. Are you a tablescape kind of gardener? I am actually a bit, yeah. Like to add lots of candles and a nice, yeah, sort of placemats and stuff. Very true. We went to Sainsbury's and MS and got loads yeah. of little snacks and things, like festive things. Basically, all the crisps, all the snacks, some olives. We're going to do some smoked salmon and cream cheese bellinis. Of course. These are a personal favourite. They're not really very festive, Ooh. but I think everyone likes Tasty them. Tasty though. And they're called Dinky as well, which is quite Aww, cute. Oh, cute. So you're hosting a, a Christmas party, what's your go-to canapé? This, actually, for sure. Mm. Although I don't usually use those nice little bellinis, they look like cute little crumpets, don't they? These are so cute, but you know what, who's got time to make ready-made mm. bellinis? Absolutely no one. Nobody. So, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, it's true, it's a waste of time. But when you can buy them pre-packaged like this, so... Why not? I mean, I love a bellini, I also yeah. love anything, like a mini version, like a mini burger, yeah, yeah, yeah. a mini... Any kind of sausage roll. Yeah. I love these. these Have you tried them? They're avocado. Oh. Are supposed to get in the oven or the I grill? did think they were meant to be warm. Yeah. Can they go in the microwave? microwave? Mm. Try one. Mm. Not as good as toasted, but... We don't have an oven. We so don't have an oven, so... Everyone might be merry off our delicious cocktails, so they might not notice. Exactly. All good. <laughs> what Christmas films do you tend to watch first? Oh. Do you have, like, a routine? I always, well, I mean, I leave Love Actually last. That's like a ah. Christmas Eve film. I lo you know what my, my favourite Christmas film is? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Mine too. It's and so good. And it's not a good. Halloween film. Lots of people think it's a Halloween film. No, it's no. Not. Yeah, well, what exactly. are these? Oh, they're you so good. Have one. Oh, they're like um, mini eggs, mm. but um, like Sorry. white, basically. I know you've got cheesy fingers, but if you'd like one. I would. I won't judge. Okay. Right, canapes are done. Canapes done. done. Cheers. Clonk. Lovely. Oh, these look so nice. nice. The, okay. final, the final edition. That looks really lovely. I did a really good job of putting all the crisps in the bowl. You know. Cherry stuff, all the salmon. <laughs> the, look at the, oh, look the at the mince pies. They're so yeah, cute. The panettone. Fab. Cocktail time. Cocktail time. Let's get, let's okay. get going. Yeah, cool. And we are working with London Essence, who have sent us lots of their lovely tonics. So Heather and I are going to make some Christmas cocktails for the team. Okay, so the first drink we're going to make is the festive spritz using Campari. Yum. We've also got some elderflower cordial, some damson jam or blackberry if you don't have any. And then we are using the London Essence 
grapefruit soda. Lovely. So the full recipe is going to be below, but this is how we're going to do ours for the party. So I'm adding 25 ml of Campari. I'm actually doing four, so let's add 100 ml. There we go. Then you also need 10 ml of the elderflower cordial. So let's add in about two of these for four. Nice. And then we also need some jam. This is going to add some sweetness and a bit of berry action. So I'm going to add two big scoops yeah. of that. Yes. Shake it. You've got to okay. get a good smack. Good. I don't want this to go over there. No. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good festive colour. That is. This looks really nice. Mm, yeah. Look at that jam. It just makes it such a nice... Is it like syrupy? Yeah, it looks it. Ooh. We're adding now 100 ml of grapefruit soda to each drink. There we go. So that is our festive spritz. Cool. So we have the first taste. Yes. Oh, deserved. This is thirsty work, Heather. Is, Cheers. Ooh. Oh my God, that's so nice. I reckon if you sell this at your parties, we'd go down a treat. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. This element is really refreshing as mm. well. Mmm. Love that. that Great. One Excellent. down. Excellent. One down. Two to go. go. So not everyone likes to drink at Christmas, so we're going to make a non-alcoholic one. So mm -hmm. we've got a no secco spritz, but also going to make a Prosecco spritz as well. Mm -hmm. Really, really simple. So this is just using either Prosecco or non-alcoholic Prosecco. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to top it up with this white peach and jasmine crafted soda from the London Essence Co. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, that was so loud. So it's 100 ml of okay. Prosecco or... And then we're doing the same of white peach and jasmine soda. Okay, okay so 100 ml. Oh, the colour looks really nice. It's jasmine. And I wouldn't put peach with... Actually, it's kind of like a bellini, isn't it? Like peach yeah. and prosecco, those flavours. Okay. This would actually be so nice. This would be a good... A good... I was going to say Christmas Day cocktail yes. with your canapes yes. or your smoked salmon and egg. Right, That's here great. we go. Last one. Cheers. Great. Oh, that's nice. If you don't like drinks that are too sweet, this is actually really good. Oh, yeah. Very fresh. It's like sort of low calorie and low alcohol because it's obviously diluting the amount of Prosecco you'd have normally. So that's actually, I think at a Christmas party, quite a wise move for a welcome drink. Very nice, I like that a lot. So this is the Festa Gin Tea. I'm excited about this one the most, I think. So oh. 25 ml of gin. Great. Then we need 10 ml of the Grand Marnier. Nice. So 10. Ooh, that's Ooh, nice. Glug, glug, glug. Okay, next, Heather, 200 ml of these mm -hmm. ones. Right in. Oh, if it's 200 ml of tonic water, that'll be like a nice long drink. I like a drink that lasts, you know? Exactly. Here we go. Ooh, oh, another time that fizz. Right, quick, quick stir. Oh, yeah. And then, I think we should go and get everyone to try. Cheers. Cheers. Well Oh, really you know good. what? It smells like a lovely G and T. Ooh, mm. that's really nice. I don't think I've ever had Grand Marnier before in a drink like this, but Not it really works. Tonic. That's no. really nice. It's just like a little hit mm. at Christmas, and it goes really yeah. well with flower. Just like an unexpected flavour combination. Yeah, really oh, like that. Lovely. Oh, cheers! I think we've done a sterling job. Oh, we have. We right, have. we go and get everyone. Yes, to see let's what they go and everyone for the Ooh, thirsties. Let's go see. Ding, ding, ding. Can everyone join us for a special festive Thursday? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 What's your favourite thing about Christmas, Victoria? Obviously Christmas music and Christmas films. It's really wholesome, wholesome vibes. Christmas is delicious. Hi. Hi. What are you drinking? I'm drinking me. I actually don't know what the name is. But it's a festive gin and tonic. It's a festive gin and tonic and it's this with blood orange and other parts of water. Delicious. And it slaps. It's a real family feeling in the air. As soon as Halloween's over, I'm like instantly. Christmas drinks, Christmas food, Christmas presents, Christmas decorations, everything. Merry Christmas! How are your drinks? Delicious! Cheers, girl! Cheers! Are you going 
guys in the festive mood? Very festive. Yeah. Very excited. I'm going to put my decorations up this week. I'll be just shaking a bit. I'm actually walking a tree. Excuse me, what? Yeah. 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 This is not a tree. No, but you hope you want to be here. I am. Did they? Probably a few trees over there. Yeah, it's really it is. Off. Yeah. Oh, well done, us, Heather. Well done. I think you did a great yeah. job. Great job. Everyone seems to be having a great time, so I think yeah. job well done. Nice. Right, let's get back to the party. I want some of that panettone. Oh, yeah, I've got my own. Yeah, oh, okay. See you See next you. time. Bye. Mm, those drinks look delicious. We were saying we need to do an after dark version of this yes, show. Yes, definitely. So with much fun. Just saying, anyone, any producers <laughs> out there? <laughs> this is what we want to do next. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got me onto Campari. Did I? Yeah. Campari Spritz. In the summer, Campari Spritz yes. instead of Aperol. Quite bitter. I right? Yeah, I like that. So this like nail polish remover. Yeah, I oh, don't. Yeah. It's quite delicious. Yeah, no, it's not for me. <laughs> 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 yummy, yummy. Yeah. I'm always going to think that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I do love a Negroni. And actually, um, in uh, lots of my Aussie mates are quite sort of in the restaurant business. And they're mm. like, vermouth on the rocks. Oh, Ooh. yes. I've had that. It's delicious. Is it? Yeah, yeah it is really, really good. Yummy. Let's try that. You just keep it in your fridge, which is quite nice. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Just, just mm -hmm. breakfast. Am I giving away too much? <laughs> You're like the life just hack. Yeah. It's always there. Yeah, I've always, I, I've, I've, I've spent a long time sort of making absolutely sure the aperitifs are always in the fridge waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the iPhone. 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 The um, so gifts this year, there. ladies. Yeah. What do what are we going to give, and mm. what do we want to receive? I've said before, I only obviously buy presents for the kids. Yeah. Um, but I also sometimes get my sister, my older sister. You literally yeah. said my siblings. I don't buy I anything know, for I them. Know, you have. I know, I know, but you That's know, you know, like, <laughs> I know, but you know, like. She just loves fashion as much as I do. Yeah. So if I spot something for her, um, which I have a really nice pearl handbag from Arquettes, because my one that I want is from Jigsaw. So mm. even though I'm like, no one buys presents, I'm like, actually, if you were to buy me something, <laughs> this really great sparkly handbag, kind of a take on the Prada one. Nice. Jigsaw have got an amazing dupe of that. So oh. that would be a present for me. Wiki. So yeah, all about the bag. Uh, to give, I have two teenage daughters, and to avoid uh, any of them stealing my things, I've decided to just give them the Space NK uh, advent calendar, which I know is incredibly decadent. Oh, wow, uh, lovely. I'm, I'm, I, but I'm so sick and tired of them coming to my yeah. room. Oh, <laughs> hang on, where's that's weird and then uh, one of my children will come up wearing a lip gloss I'm like that's so weird because it almost looks exactly like the one I've just bought myself mm. oddly can't I can't find. find it anymore so I'm going to do that and then I'm really hoping decadently it's a really big hope is a pair of aquazura flat velvet with a little diamante sort of button on the side. Uh, which I'm really into sort of pointy flat velvet shoes Ooh. because you can then sort of, again, yeah. high low dressing. Yes. You can, it's a part, it's saying party, but really it's also saying day. Yeah. Um, and looks H&M really, have got a similar pair if you wanted a high street dupe uh, as actually, well, which I've just yeah. got. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we can okay. no, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want like, those yeah, ones. Um, um, no, <laughs> you know, Zara have got, I was there yesterday <laughs> looking for some clothes for, for my, my kids part, uh, who are going to lots of parties now they're of the age where things like that are happening which is really fun and so I went to Zara yesterday uh, absolutely went to town town there and they have the most brilliant shoes right now amazing and I got them these incredible they're completely see-through slingback with a diamante bow so it almost looks like it's a no shoe shoe so it's oh, like, like a Cinderella shoe. total yes. Cinderella yes. vibes looks amazing oh, so, so I got cute. them those and you know they're sort of around sort of 50 pounds what something like, like that yeah. ever I know. Yeah. Yeah. didn't get me that kind of stuff I was I trying, and of course they were smaller feet than me so I was like trying to wedge my foot in <laughs> <laughs> Like, Literally Cinderella. You know, it was like, <laughs> that is the story of. I was taking lots of videos. <laughs> what do you think? What do you but think? Actually, an advent calendar is a very good idea mm. because not only do they have to wait, but it's miniature, so yes. they'll probably learn to really eke it out. Yes. And yes. I think that's, that's true. True. a very good idea. You get yeah. to try things. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Uh, lots which, of different things yeah. all at once. Unfortunately, yeah. you then get them hooked on very the expensive. Yeah. Uh, then they uh, want the full size. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And then it's a problem. Uh, that's exactly. Actually, what's wrong with a bit of Nivea? <laughs> <laughs> love Nivea. So. I have bought my husband an air fryer. <laughs> oh, love. I just got rid of mine. I could have given oh, you I mine. Oh, I could have bought it from oh, you. Oh, don't tell me that. No, it's, no, they're brilliant. 
It's so brilliant. You've got to <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I saw, I saw a great mine. hack actually today. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Another hack. Someone making the jammiest uh, uh, boiled eggs in the air fryer. Have a look it up. Well, see, that's why. You see, things like see? that. That's yeah. why I bought it for him. He's, He's going to be thrilled. Does he cook? Yeah, he does. Okay, so he does all the cooking. Cook. Yeah. yeah. So it's, not, it's so generous of me to give him just yeah. another utensil oh for God, him to cook cooking. For you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy that. Um, and then for myself, I've actually gone more kind of down the interiors. Mm -hmm. I find like I can never yeah. really kind of treat myself with that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So mm -hmm. I've asked for a couple of Tatiana Alida prints and... I've also asked for more pooky lamps. I don't know if you guys oh, yeah. have seen yes. these. I have, yeah. The rechargeable ones. Yes. yes. And you can just like move them They're around your yes. house. Really You've got a dark one. corner, you just put yeah. one there. And also in the summer, if you're outside, mm. yeah. bring them outside with a lovely that's shade. What, that's yeah. really taken off. I mean, I, uh, about a year or so ago, I went on vacation to, um, to Greece and everywhere all over Greece, yeah. Every restaurant had these things. They were so yes, brilliant with a little so hat good. on top. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. They're gorgeous. They create really good light, which I'm obsessed with. If, we, you, if you're having a dinner party, yeah. I want everyone in the, the dark. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. see your face that clearly. <laughs> and I don't want you to see the food that I've just cooked exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> Everything looks better. I agree on the dark. Lower it down. Um, I went to a restaurant recently and it was so dark, you almost actually couldn't see. I love yeah. But I was into the, the it was a quite romantic vibe. Um, well, I have, I have to say, uh, the gift that I want to give. This just came out today on my brand, Charlotte England. So I'm going to do a shameless plug and show it. Okay, good. Um, this is a box I've been working on for over a year with a lovely artist called Rachel Bottomley. And oh. she painted this for us in beautiful, thick gorgeous. oils. That's gorgeous. Um, yeah. And it's a votive. So I've worked on these lovely oh. candles and there are three oh, different. Oh, they're lovely. Yeah. Yeah. A lovely amber are they colour. The smell? Amber are they the sweat. same? Oh. They're all different. So you've got oh. a sort of oh, that's um, rose and oud, orange which is blossom. quite romantic. Okay. And orange blossom, which is... Fresh and oh, I love, love that one. That's oh, lovely. Amber my and favorite. Favorite. I really anyway, love that one. I have so many perfumes. Everyone will be getting one of them. <laughs> oh, yes. I love. Um, I love that too. And how much is that? That's new. I love the amber. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, I love clever that. girl. And then for me, I really love a perfume. It's Diptyque Tam Dao. Yeah. And it, do you know it? I yeah. do. It's one of their lesser known ones. I thought, and I um I was interviewing this really chic, lovely French woman years ago in New York, and. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you were wearing. And she was like, I don't normally tell people that. Like, I don't live in France. You're going to see each other. And so I went to Pitchy that day. I'd run out. Oh my gosh, the need but to I get think a new when you, I bet we all of those people that oh my run gosh, after women. Yeah. yeah, 100%. And I can understand yeah. why people don't want to tell people as well. It's kind of like, no, this yeah, is my show. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's anything. one that I always notice all the time and I've actually smelt it on men as well as women which I'm quite surprised at because it's actually yeah. quite it's a fairly feminine fragrance but it's called and it's called Portrait of a Lady. Have you ever smelt it? No. no. It's a very it's odd a name. I think it's Frederick Mai possibly okay. possibly mm -hmm. and it is so potent but I've smelt it on men before well, yeah. and it is so mysterious. Does it smell different on a man? You know how yeah, it, like, it, it can change. There, there, it, there's a definite masculinity wow. to this. It's kind of a rose smell, but it's it's really beautiful. Oh, wow. wow. I love that when it makes mm. an impact in a good yeah. way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. If you haven't pulled the trigger yet, this next segment is for you. Florist Lucy Vale is going to talk you through the key tips on how to dress your tree in the chicest way. Hi, my name is Lucy Vale and I am the founder of Lucy Vale Floristry and I am so excited to be here at Sheer Lux to share with you my top tips of how to create the most luxurious Christmas tree this Christmas. First of all, what you want to do is prep as much as possible. Yeah, I would recommend the Norman tree. You then want to get your baubles, your fruits, and then I would highly recommend getting some real wire, which you can order on Amazon. And then what you want to do is just kick back, watch a Christmas film, pour that massive glass of mulled wine, and sit there wiring the baubles and the dried fruits, and I promise you, you won't regret it. Lighting is key. Make sure to go for warm lighting through your fairy lights, and definitely make sure that you turn your lights on before you go up and down the branches, because we've had this time time before that you found out that your lights don't work halfway through. So I've got my plug plugged in at the bottom, but I've got the tip of my lights that I'm gonna start wiring from the top, and I go down the center of the tree, and then I literally go up and down 
each branch so you don't get those swags around the branches I would wire each swag to the branch I would say for a seven foot Christmas tree having four sets is perfect for us more is more so you want to have that tree full of twinkling lights the next step is all the trimmings and you want to create the most beautiful tree luxurious tree by those really special ornaments and it's all about that little interest you don't want every bauble to be the same um, we've got here we've got some silver branches going throughout I would also get lots of ribbons as your trimmings they give that extra detail and then another thing as well that we like to use is either dried fruits or dried flowers. You know, you can save them for next year, save them for many years to come. It is a little bit of a labour of love, but it's worth it. You've literally just got to slice them up, place them in a warm oven and they'll dry out like that. More is more, you can never have too much on your Christmas tree. Your final step is your tree topper. And your tree topper is the piece that really stands out. For me, my theme this year has been all about the bows and the ribbons. So I wanted a beautiful triple bow right at the top. But you know, that's your showstopper. Go wild, choose what you've got or create something really sentimental and place it on top of your tree. Last, but most importantly actually, is to keep your tree as fresh as possible during December. A very big tip for this is one, to always have your bottom base always full of water. Thank you so much for having me. I've absolutely loved sharing my top tips and a really happy Christmas and I hope you have a wild well one. Oh, that's it for today. Thank you so much to you all and the SL team. On next week's show, I'm back with more wonderful guests. We have two party makeup looks with Ashley Days, a look at a very glamorous SL team dinner, plus a guide to wrapping the chicest of Christmas presents. More hacks from Wiggy, maybe as well. In the meantime, <laughs> we would love week. it. Yeah. <laughs> if you could comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye, guys.